Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Romancing Saga Reuniverse stream. Um we finally have a uh, version 3 in JP and I wanted to explore that with you. I haven't really got the chance to um, explore around, so yeah, now would be the time to do so. There's... Oh, there's no more. Oh, nice. Dojo doesn't have the... The thing anymore. The energy bar. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I only have this, I guess. 21 hours. Oh. They simplified it. <laughs> Max HP is 2380. Oh, still the same. Okay. And then um, earlier when I went to the shop, this one right here, Romancing Shop, it made me forced to, you know, the colored powders, stone, and the diamonds. Um, all of them became one color. <laughs> Let me show you. I think, yeah. So they became this rainbow color. They consolidated it. Now, the coins for this one, I don't know where I can get it just yet. Um, as part of the login bonus, um, we were provided with 10,000 coins. So I'm not sure whether... No. <laughs> whether this is limited or event limited or whatnot i don't know and then i think this is where you should be able to get um your weekly stuff and then the other stuff that's no longer available because they remove a lot of stuff from the game that this is where you would get it now i don't know yeah you need the coins to um to get that I guess they removed the equipment medals. Sorry about that. <laughs> there have been a lot of um, emergency um, around the area. But yeah. Mm. Oh, I haven't gotten this. Okay. Oh, we can get materials. That's cool. You know, we love all the materials. <laughs> and then they also introduced a new tier of weapon. So there is... um. SSS grade weapon um, they also moved away from the um, holy stones ca um, came so now you just get the holy stone and be done with it <laughs> just like how you're you're seeing it right now hey Andy no it's not early this is what what time I usually start around 1 30 your time 7 30 p.m. my time how are you doing? For me, I'll try my best to keep up. Um, I don't have any sleep. As <laughs> I, I couldn't sleep last night. So that's why I just ended up watching the, the stream. Oh, good morning to you then. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know where, where this coin is. Uh, where you can get it. But um, right now... This is what the romancing shop looks like and you can get all the stuff like um, the old styles, old event styles rather, um, old equipment from the, you know, from events and whatnot and other stuff like, um, what's that? These right here. I, I forgot what they're called. Okay, and then we also have Battle Historia, so that's good. Um, Gotcha. So for Gotcha, there's two banners. Um, I think it uh, it's related to the campaign they wanted to start regarding the saga stage for Romancing Saga Reuniverse. Um, right now, um, there's Polka, Liz, and Brownie. I'm not really impressed with this banner, 
so the all the login jewels I got was used on this banner which I'm really excited about because I got Bartellamy um, that kind of complements the overdrive approach that I was doing in Spiral Corridor the, the next one I want to target is Joe because Joe just gives um, attack boost and defense boost like crazy and that's what I need right now in my party and then before I go any further um, I the artwork we have on display that's done by Fuluyano-san. Um, Fuluyano-san is actually one of the first few people I reached out to on Twitter randomly just in English that can I please use your art and he allowed me to and he made this art out of the I would say the preview we got from last night's um, stream from JP so we have Brownie and then going down there's Liz, Igomal, and then Joe and then the middle one is the new character Shirei um, we're gonna meet him soon I don't know how to get him but I think there is an SS style for that and it looks like Shirei does pretty good I don't know whether um, it's he's gonna be free or not again I haven't explored version 3 yet I just updated and tried to clear the cache to lower the size and so on and then to the right, there's Bartelemy, and then at the bottom is Polka. And then the art, the the picture edit to the right is a little funny. Um, this is um, done by Imojiro-san. Um, he he does a lot of um, funny, I would say, like you know, anime type of reactions and so on. And this one is kind of wanting to give give say goodbye rather to the female lobster in the final aisle um she was dubbed as ebiko so um boston is crying and then shouting ebiko and then the the female lobster at the back was saying uh just keep keep getting stronger and so on you know what she says on final aisle kito tiyoku <laughs> So I, I, I decided to replace my usual Virgil and Pixel Arado to the right for now with that because I feel it's fitting with um, the version 3 of the game because we don't have Final Isle anymore. That's one of the things we knew when version 3 was announced that Final Isle is going to go away. That's why the um, Dojo, Dojo Testament goes to the romancing shop now. Hey Rydia, how are you? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll check it out later. And then there's a new start dash mission. Um, I don't know what other stuff you can get out of this, but it seems like you get the free Noel, free Sophia, gold pieces, and SS um platinum ticket. But um, there's also new stuff that you gotta clear that I'm not sure of yet. And then somehow. I am unable to I'm unable to access um, Spiral Corridor just yet so right here I can't access it yet I have to be player rank 16 somehow but I'm 1147 so I don't know I don't know what that means <laughs> but um yeah there's two different modes now there's the the daily you know the daily dungeon you know just like how we have right now in the daily tab um, oh, we got all these events and the attacks, so. And the UI itself is just so beautiful. Um, I'm not gonna do any of the attacks just yet. Um, I wanted, to, I mean, I can do some, but I can't do some of it where, because it's related to the story. So I don't want to spoil the story too much just now. Hey, Fifole, how are you? Please, Joe, and Crown Girl. Crown Girl is Igoma. Yeah, um, Rydia, the banner is really good. So, I, I'm really not, unfortunately, I'm not that impressed with the Polka, Liz, and Brownie banner. And I, I, I like how the title for um, Brownie is Kakoi no Paisen. So, um, Satoshi-san before, who used to stream both Global and JP Romancing Saga, he taught me that Paisen is like... Um, like a play of words with senpai but you know the opposite way so that's why um what you call it brownie's title like this kakoi na uh what was this 
Where is it? I think I think one of one of her skill, if I'm not mistaken, because that's where I read what that's where I read it, like Kakuina Paisen or something. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, I'm not impressed with the Polka, Liz, and Brownie banner. Although I wanted to get Liz because she adds more defenses. Um, I'm more impressed with this one because I'm, I'm still building my Overdrive team. So Barthelemy, I'm really happy that I got him. So Barthelemy gives a lot of um, Overdrive gauge um, stuff that would help with the party along with Saga, Labelle, and Wagnas. And then Igomal has this... Um, cleanse of buff just like um anya but rather than um attack down she gives um defense down hey tefuen how are you i i got Barthelemy. <laughs> and then i didn't got anybody else i really wanted joe so joe you wanted you want to do skill number two um, she would give heat up to herself and then everybody else would get this skill so this skill um they would be doing attack boost and defense boost to themselves one turn or two turns accordingly um i don't know whether it's a turn start uh oh if they're attack rather so when your um party is attacked you would get attack boost and defense boost accordingly and then she would further give attack boost and defense boost to the party like this one skill number three so that's why i really wanted to get joe that's what I'm missing right now in JP. Um, a lot of sources for uh, what you call it, attack boost and defense boost. But yeah, the UI looks so pretty. Um, there's two different ranks. It seems like there is a um, a rank, you know, for leveling and stuff. And then there's the other one with the adventurer's rank. Um, I don't know how to level the adventurer's rank yet. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, this is the UI like like um right now. It's so pretty. And then there's this um, you know, screenshot mode. You click this icon to the upper right and then it removes everything and then you have this nice picture to take a screenshot of. And then um, you know, the roulette got moved outside just like how we are. And then um Tepwen and Rydia, you guys weren't here um when I explained the picture to the right. So it was done by Imojiro-san. He does a lot of um, funny like edits of the characters with the reaction and stuff. So this one, it's mainly saying goodbye to the female lobster in Final Isle. Because one of the things we learned is um, when we go to version 3, that um, Final Isle is going to go away. So um, Boston is shouting, Ebiko! And then there's like... Um, Boston is crying and then the female lobster, you know, just like in the anime. Okay, just just stay alive or keep stronger. But what she's saying here is um, just um, keep getting stronger. Just like that. <laughs> I, I thought it's very fitting with um, version 3. That's why I, um, I, I chose to add this here. The jewel wheel, it's outside um, Rydia. So just like how it is right now, right here. Um, on the upper left of the homepage, uh, in the in global, it's the same place. Um, that's where you get on the upper left. Yeah, if you fall, I don't know too. I I cleared the cache and everything, but I still got seven gigabytes of file in global. So I I just went with it and moved on. <laughs> okay, so we have Battle Historia to the left, and then. I guess the main story is right here. Don't worry about the main story. So the main story, um, from what I read on Twitter, uh, so to the left, the artwork by Fuluyano-san, um, the middle character is Shire. So Shire is a wandering minstrel and um, is retelling some of the story. I don't know what the story is going to be, but if there's any cutscene that I'm gonna skip that just to avoid any spoiler, if anything. But yeah, that's um, Shire to the upper left. Shijin Shire. So, Ministro Shire, Chapter 1. Stage 1. Oh, they, they overhauled everything. <laughs> oh, cutscene. No. I'm gonna skip the cutscenes, okay? Just 
just to be safe. I don't want people to be spoiled with whatever. Ah, so you click on this. Okay. Yes, arc three right now. So um, we finish uh Liam Liam's story. Shire, yay! Oh, bow bow and sun, nice. What do you do? You buff um you clear you cleanse all um ailments, and then buff everyone with willpower. Wow, for an S character, that's pretty good. And then he has um. Mama Saga Mama's um song I think, no oh no no it's different, so it's um remove any attribute down, and then give an extra small heal to everyone, and then the last one single target and then give everyone guard up. Shire is just so good, I'm I'm excited to use his SS. So one of the things in the in the stream says that you can level this into like a rank 99 or something and then you get something out of it. Um I oh that's where you get coins. Okay. Okay, that's where you get coins. And then it gives you the HP now, so that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'll 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 try to do one more um, multi gacha um, fifole. I'm excited to listen to the music. I can't hear right now because it's just so soft. My microphone is almost close to the to my phone that I don't want the the sound to leach through the microphone. Ah uh, no, people! I actually bought a lot in <laughs> in global. Oh, what happened? So I clicked this, and then it unlocked that. What is this? Okay. Wow, the music music sounds really good. I'm trying to get my ears as close to the phone as possible. Oh, no problem, Tepwin. It's actually raining where I am right now too. So I'm hoping my internet doesn't lag. But um, I'm for- oh, I can go this, okay. I'm fortunate to be on running on a fiber network, so that's why my upload speed is super, super high. Um, the, the future units video that I uploaded, it was 8 gigabytes in file. I uploaded it in 6 minutes. <laughs> um, with my old internet, it would be uploaded in roughly at least an hour. <laughs> How come I'm not getting any rank adventurer rank XP? Oh. Okay. You get stuff. You get stamina and daily the daily um, auto rematch. And then overdrive damage. Huh. And then for the rank. Okay. Really? Oh yeah, that's true, Fifole, because they they allowed the upgrade to SSS grade weapon. Um whatchamacallit? 
they allow the SSS grade weapon for those that are available in the game. So like Joe's fusion crown, I think. And then Shirei's bow as well. So let me show you show you guys the new SSS weapon. So they gave us um like a blue dragon um greatsword. Where is it? Uh this one. This is the new SSS weapon. <laughs> 65 attack power. And 100% stone. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I heard that, um, thank you to Astalot, by the way, for translating some of this stuff. That you would be able to craft um, SS weapon with stone that can have, like what Fifole was saying, um, can have like 99% um, stone in it. So I don't know how that's gonna happen. But yeah, great sword, 65. <laughs> Um, I don't think I have a- wait, I have, um, Hibiris. So Hibiris can use that. It's fine. Oh wait, Hibiris is sword, never mind. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have any other characters that can use sword? Oh, Saruin. Why not, Saruin? <laughs> yeah. 65 attack power, let's go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use destructive blow. Destructive blow and this one. Ah, so you get it from Battle Historia, um, Fifole, the the red shards to upgrade to SSS weapon. Ah, I didn't know that. Like I said, I haven't explored anything. <laughs> Oh, we cleared this. That's that's cool. Okay, what's next? We touch this again. Oh, we cleared it. Is there a new stage? What happened? <laughs> it's clear. Sure, let's try again. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Tepwin. So one of the things I wanted for, uh, for Joel, it, other than the attack boost and defense boost, is the follow-up. So when she does, a when she does an attack type of skill or action, that she would be able to... What happened? So I can't... What? <laughs> so she would be able to follow up with checkmate and spectacle portal. So both at large chance, I think, so 37%. Why can I clear it? You see map new. There's um, something new. Oh, there's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Fifole. Thank you. And then my apologies, by the way, if I sound tired or anything. I was telling Andy earlier that I didn't sleep last night. I guess I couldn't sleep from the anxiety of um, trying to pull in the gacha and at the same time wanting to finish the patch and so on. And then yeah, I just didn't sleep. <laughs> so I might I might sound tired. Uh, my apologies on that. I'll try to keep the energy up. Okay, we cleared it. 200 jewels. Okay, what's next? Is that it? Is that it? That's it? Okay. Okay, we have 3000 jewels. <laughs> 
Let's do another multi. Come on, Joe. We want Joe. Igomal is okay too. <laughs> Thank you. That point is one of my good luck charm. When I'm um, during the JP uh, UDX, um, what should I call it? Darius. We were just doing single and then last single. Oh, this is nothing and then boom. Darius. <laughs> I, I, I I won't I won't forget that. Nine ten. Nope. It's okay. We're gonna get more jewels soon. Okay, so let's do free quest I guess. So free quest, there's some stuff. So I think the these are the events, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we get jewels. Nice. Oh, this is the one. Okay. Hmm. Wait. So, do I click this? Oh. Yes, friends. I, I can't really read all of the JP words and stuff, so pardon me if I'm just guessing. <laughs> okay. Did they change? Oh. Oh, this is where you get the coins. Okay. Nice, nice. So you get 1500 per day. Finally, they give us a lot of orums per day. <laughs> okay, so I think it's the same amount of jewels, but they replaced it with um, coins now. But still no weekly mission. Okay, what are we doing here? Futari no negai. Nega no, 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 no. Sorry, I skipped it, I skipped it. So that was, um, I don't know if any of you have finished the Poco chapter in the, you know, in Global. So if, uh, so if so, then that's kind of like a interlude after that. Yeah, that's what I heard, Fifole, that there's going to be a style version of the Liam chapter main character. So there's S, Liam, Anya. Darius, um, Candy, and then I forgot the fifth one. <laughs> Is this how I get my rank up? 2,910. Okay. I don't know if he fall it because what you call it? It they they kinda stepped it up with the characters. Like Shire S S style is just so good. I'll I'll check later. I haven't checked really any of the information. I just read from Astalot's update that um we're gonna have casual 467,000 damage. Sure. <laughs> um, I read an Astalot update about the S style for the Liam main characters. I forgot who the fifth one is. Is there five people? Who's the fifth one? Jo Igumal Nerai because Kami I died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you didn't get Kami. But I, I wanted Joel as well for me. Uh huh. This is where I get adventure rank? Oh, it's the stage level. This is what they said that you gotta get to stage level 99 and then something would happen. Uh huh. Okay. 
I don't know, Fifole. I think for me, the MVP is um, Bartholomew. <laughs> okay, let's switch. Because I want... I want Saruin to attack. And then let's do... Is it single target? Okay, let's do that. All of a sudden, our, our damage is like nothing after this update. <laughs> Sorry, I had the wrong configuration, but um, yeah, they stopped um World Tower uh video. It's only in Global where we had World Tower released three times, or actually more than two times more. Uh, sorry, World Tower was released twice in JP, if not three times. I think we had it five times in Global, from what I remember. So that's why it, it would be a nice surprise if they bring back World Tower in um in global. It's like, okay, it's anniversary, let's let's give them World Tower again. <laughs> Which one is that people? I I don't know. But yeah, it seems that the regular mobs they change out the properties that they are so much stronger now. Secret map. Okay, I don't know where that is. I'm gonna try. Well, you don't get jewels though. This is the weird part. So do you get stuff if you increase the stage level? Question mark. What is this? I need 24 of this. Something stage. Uh, okay. That's the secret map you're referring to right now, Fifole. Then we get this. How do I get my adventure rank? <laughs> okay, this is blunt and single target. So let's try make a decent party. <laughs> Sorry, pardon my parties. <laughs> okay, let's do... Hi! You're saying hi to everyone? With your stinky breath and all? Yeah, Bowie says hi to everyone. And then she just went to my back and just laid down there. <laughs> okay, I need blunt. What is this? Blunt. Uh, let's do you. Uh... Acrobat Grace is... Oh, no, no. Indirect, so cannot. Hmm. Let's do Johan. How are you, Misty? What do you do? Slash and Pierce. <laughs> Ay. This one. And then... Two more. Uh... I guess nobody. <laughs> I need some direct attackers, that's why. So 
So let's do this and then this, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I can't show off the great sword, but it's fine. <laughs> so this one, it increases your direct attacks and mitigate direct attacks more. So that's why it's it's pretty good, I would think. Hey, no, thank you. This, this. Okay, let's try it out. Ah, okay, it's this one. I don't know if we fall it because I I mean we can get fifteen hundred daily for the coins, but I don't know if you know what can you get from it other than the usual stuff. Boom, five hundred thousand. <laughs> Oh, I got Adventurer rank. Nice. Okay. Oh, you get coins too. Okay, that's good. So you get- you can farm coins then from the event. That's good to know. Okay, so I go here. Sorry, I'm gonna skip. Just so nobody sees what it is. Oh, it turned blue. What happened? I wonder if they lowered the amount of jewels that we get now. You see, you're not getting any jewels for clearing the story of the event. You know how in an event, um, if there is ultra hard that you can get un until, um, whatchamacallit, you can get like 2,000 jewels out of it. Is that it? Do I have to level 99 this and then move on to the next one? Or I need to get the secret map, like what you said, Fifole. I guess that's... that's it? Or... what's... what's in here? Where's Shire? Shire is not here! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But it's the usual. So the the star the star stones by the way, they consolidated it to this one item right here. <laughs> Everything is consolidated now. Ooh, congratulations, Ridia. Are you planning to do some kind of event for that? Okay, so I guess we can huh? point up at the 47 Kai. So I need to finish this 47 times. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we can talk about whatever while let we let this finish. Um, I'll mute the audio for now. So I don't know if you guys went for the saga banners in global um for, i don't know if you know siegfried as well in reddit and discord but i think he made a really good statement that the buffs were very significant for all the characters 
Um, so, like the the buff for Rock Bouquet is really good. It's very forward thinking. Like, I'm very impressed with um, them wanting to add um, what you call it attack down on top of the debuff. So attack down, as you know, is not getting cleansed whenever enemy initiates that. So having attack down and defense boost is a really good utility. And what I told Discord is it's the future. So among the six characters we have right now, I would rate um, Rock Bouquet as the top, the highest one, because um, Rock Bouquet is just giving so much utility, including intelligence um, cleanse of the target enemy, which is something that's you know, a little limited, but in a way, it's still good, you know? So that's why I'm I'm still happy about it. And then I would say, so in the Rock Bouquet banner, Rock Bouquet definitely is the top. In the Polka banner, I would think um, Liz would be the top, the highest on that. And that's why I wanted to chase for Liz. And they didn't show up until like the 14th multi, both Polka and Liz. So I went for Pity and got Zeke instead. So for Liz, she's really good in a way that you can spam the will buffing. Um, There would be a time where you, there's no buff break for the party. So you would be able to benefit out of it, especially in Saruin Tower. I don't know if it's going to get changed. Sorry, this is long, long the three seconds. <laughs> um, so in Saruin Tower, one of the a lot of the fights there, you have to keep on spamming your will buffing to the party and then be on Rising Phoenix. So that would be very useful for Liz. And then on top of her being able to do um, defense boost with skill number three, is again very valuable in my opinion because um defense boost is stackable and she also has that extra buff to herself for one turn um after doing an overdrive attack where she can counter with skill number three which allows her to just keep on stacking defense boost and that's a big deal especially if um if you encounter enemies that can that can do direct attacks that's super useful. Think of it as like um, Romancing Saga One, Minis Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Monica. So Minstrel Song Monica, she she gets the wreck attack. She would get a buff to herself, and she keeps on stacking that buff for one turn. It's kind of like for Liz, but in a smaller degree because for Liz, she has to go on overdrive to be able to get that buff. But, you know, the more she counters with the wreck attack, the more that she would be able to counter properly, in which that would be very useful. And I can already see the Liz strategy for Spiral 170 with the with the fishes and Shogun. Is there's a lot of cold attacks that Liz can nullify, and then she can also keep on doing the overdrive counter. So that's why Liz is the top for me in the Linwood banner. The The bottom one would be Joe, mainly because there's not much really Joe can add to the team other than having a sustainable moral down medium effect. Not to say that it's not useful, it's just not unique. And having moral down along with attack down, defense boost, and guard up is the future. You need to have all of those capability as much as as much as you can, so that if I mean if you encounter enemies like in Spiral One Eighty and how I struggled because of how ridiculous the damage is, that you would be more prepared. You would be able to sustain the damage better. And I was saying, um, what am I call it? I was saying to everyone whenever I have the chance that. Maria and Death is like the god tier for hard content along with Razem. 
they're the three that that has the best synergy and combo that all the support that you need. Razem gives defense boost and attack boost along with random endurance and willpower buff and um debuff cleanse uh debuff cleansing and then Maria doing some healing. Oh I got a map yay okay um Maria doing some healing and stuff Oh it, that's what it is okay now I get it thank you if you fall in for that now I understand. <laughs> so I have to fight this now? Anyway, so Maria and Death and Razem. Those are the ones that you would like to target. And then definitely on a must pull um, for me. 100%. Uh, what else? So I stopped the future unit... Um, recommendation with the oh i gotta adjust um Saruin. sorry about that um i stopped the unit recommendation on november so that's um halloween one of the thing that you would like to consider there is um esper girl and also the the other side of that is on the udx side of the um of the banner we have right now in global that it would be really good to have UDX Esper Girl um, because of dimensional break and then you would just keep on using that every other turn and then hoping that you would be able to use telekinesis along the way as well. That's how um that's how Esper Girl became very helpful in terms of being able to um sorry I'm gonna turn on the game audio. Um that makes Esper Girl helpful because of dimensional break with defense boost and then I think shadow element um, defenses. So it's something worth noting for. And then what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, so I stopped on Halloween. Um, December, unfortunately, as much as I love um, Acelis, she became top tier for Pierce DPS for a very very short time because um the the January banner it just became really useful. So the January banner we start off with the um with the whatchamacallit with the bunny banner. Um we get all sorts of stuff in there where um we see that we we are able to give passive to the party. The party is able to do extra stuff along with whatever they can do already. So just like Bunny Amelia giving the 25% AoE extra small heal every end of turn. So that's 4 chances for you to get extra small heal. Um, I showed that in my Notch Drager um, clear for um, that Bunny event as well. So check that out if you had the chance. Um, after, after the bunny banner, it's going to be the Valentine banner and that can be skipped. Um, we thought that the gimmick for Azure Lady, you know, the lady in the green tornado, um, the one where she applies a curse and then whatever hit, whatever, however times the enemy got hit that they would be debuffed with, um, with agility and intelligence so that really didn't um didn't i guess didn't find any use i don't know whether in global they would be able to find a way to make that useful but in jp personally i i don't see any any reason on pulling for them i mean you know for the meme because fur fur is like one of those um trauma enemy what they call it in JP so uh, after Valentine is a very important banner because that becomes the saga soul for romancing saga 2 um, you would have the palette swap for Minerva for Penelope for um, Sophia for Hannibal for George and there's one more that I keep forgetting so it's a double banner 
and you would love you would want to get uh, Maria from there. It would be nice to get Kristoff. Kristoff is the pilot swap for um, Jorg. So Jorg um, continues to be really useful. So if you get him, it's fine. But Maria is the main target there. And then after that, we, we should be coming in the finale soon for the story for Liam. And with that finale, um, it would be a six six banner i think so you would want death in that banner and then uh, merlot and syra for farming and then Razen. those are the main three targets yes that one uh, medea maria hercules ceres and Kristoff. so hercules is hector's um palette swap ceres is um minerva Kristoff is the george e e Epaminondas, that's um, Hannibal. Medea is um, Penelope. And then Maria is Sophia. Uh, male Esper, um, Rydia. I, I think the closest one we have would be Myron in the upcoming um, Final Fantasy Legends 3. Okay. Uh, something. The East Magician. Okay. I guess we gotta fight more Noels, and then we gotta get this to level ninety-nine. Oh, I can use Sumire, but it's fine. <laughs> Ah, so Merlot and Syra are both um, wines. I know Merlot is a wine, but Syra is also a, a name of a wine or a type of grape, I assume. Ah, that's good to know. Yeah, Rydia. So in on Twitter, there's this um, uh, Ken Kenji San. So. Kenji san loves um, Kami and would make a lot of um, progress with his own game with Kami and all. Um, Voxandra is also following that one. So, Kenji san, he o would always request for Venus and Odin from Game Boy Saga <laughs> to be implemented in the game. Because every once in a while, we would get this um, user survey or the Anketo survey. Um, in that question, they would ask you who are the characters that you would like to be implemented in the game. So, Kenji san would normally add Venus in that one and Odin. <laughs> yeah, we do have our favorites. And of course, for Global, um, I don't know, Tepwen, if you've heard already, in Global. Um, with this kind of survey in Taiwan, I think by Manian um, ranked top two and the player's favorite. <laughs> I don't know if it's a meme or or not, but she made it to top two. Yeah, they need to... Well, they have Delita, right? I know Ramza is available. But is Delita available as well? I, 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 I forgot. I only follow Rez with her gacha shenanigans. <laughs> Rez, if you're watching, I'm not making fun of your videos. I love your gacha videos. Yeah, Ramza I know. Agrias I know. Ah, no, Orlando even. That's... That's sad. Orlando is like the trademark Final Fantasy because you know, Thunder God Sid. <laughs> yeah, he is. I 
I wonder how I can get um what who is that? Who's that name? Shire SS. Miss I see uh, Mia san posting on Twitter about um Shire being on style level 50. So definitely it's part of either the event or the story to get Shire. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me add um, Bartholomew here because I need to train Bartholomew still. Anyway, we can we can skip this. This is too boring. I'm sorry. Um, let me see. There are two more right here. The free quest. So there's one right here, and then there's this other one. I don't know what this is. Is this the? Ah, okay. So this comes with Battle Historia. Whenever their Battle Historia is unlocked, you get this ticket and then everybody gets to level up fast. And this is the way to go for outdated characters. So let me do some Battle Historia because I know a lot of people um, enjoyed that when I showed the Battle Historia. But yeah, so we have that. And then what is this? Oh, score battle. So you do the maximum damage you can. So like um, dojo for for Sumire. Okay. And then what is this one? What is this? Ah, the new the beginner quest. So. As part of the beginner quest, you get um, these right here. You can get like a 27%. Um, the best one you have is the 27% for all. So this is the first stage. All the way to the third stage, you would get... Um, you would be able to get 27% um, for all. Like 81%, like a generic option. They gave that one time. By the way, the in global, the best farming spot is those uh, three um, witches, witches' daughter. See, I like that. More weapons for me to sell. I'm gonna unlock it later. Oh, they have removed all of the jewel sources. That's scary. Yes, usually in this kind of stages, you would have like a, you know, initial clear, you get 50 jewel. It's 50 jewel, but it's scary to think that they're Removing one of those stuff, um, you know, those minor stuff, and it adds up. Hey, Sanku, yes, there's a new Joe. We can go through the skills and stuff if we like. Is there like a, um, uh, you know, the type of patches that you play Rydia with your games that? Is there a version in the DS where it's kind of ra it's randomized or whatever? Oh, there's there's the 300 jewels we're looking for. <laughs> I mean, they removed the weekly mission, so we don't know yet. Ah, so there is no Japanese version for um, Legends 2. Okay. I am scared of that randomizer. <laughs> I mean, even though I feel that I am seasoned with the the Game Boy Saga, that I, I st I'm still scared with RNG. 
Oh, no problem, Sanku. What are these? Oh, they're giving those now. They oh, the towers are gone. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is the one where they gave us 81% generic for all. Okay. Ah, so this is the daily quest. The the style XP and the Orum quest. Oh. You can use a lot of tickets? Where, where did this ticket come from? <laughs> this is style XP. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, let's do some Battle Historia. I know that's always fun. I still don't know how to best play this, but it's okay. Yay! I unlock um, Spiral Corridor finally! <laughs> I'm stuck with 190. <laughs> Ay, sorry. So there's Gentojo right here. There's Gentojo, there's Spiral, there's... What is this? There's Battle Historia. What is this? Oh, this is the attack. Sorry, I can't show that. Gentojo is Remembrance. Yes, I haven't done a lot of Remembrance. We're gonna do that in a separate stream. <laughs> my, my, my points is so outdated. <laughs> okay, Battle, battle Historia. Yeah, we know that. Yada yada yada. Okay. Um, let's do. Oh, oh, okay. Let's do fourteen. I am definitely gonna fail. Who are we gonna start with? <laughs> what do you have? This hand. Poison bog weakness. I would think Darius, huh? It's okay, um, Rydia. You, you saw how my remembrance was. That has been like that for three months in JP. <laughs> so it's okay. I guess Darius is the answer because there's this. Yeah, Battle Historia. Um, There's a term for that. I'm sorry. I, oh, this is my party. I'm sorry. This is my initial party. Um... What do you call it? Tepwin? So you go panel by panel and then you get new characters, you get stronger enemies, you get formation and whatnot. Roguelike, that one, yeah. What is this one? So I can get three battle items, I can I can get four formation, or I can get party ability. Yeah. I can get one party ability. So I would think... Where's the ally? I wish there was an ally. <laughs> let's do formation. Mm, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, let's do item. Item is very is useful in my opinion. So what did I get? I get... Charm up. Uh, charm down 400 points. <laughs> Everybody int up 100%. And then, my, uh, poison res uh, paralyzed resistance, 400 down for two turns. And then, inflict paralyzed for two turns. That's cool. Let's get an ally. It, it, it will come in, in global, Sanku. Haha. <laughs> Yay! We get thunderclap, um, Undine. Um, sorry, Laura. And then... Did Undine get anything? No. Undine didn't get anything. The... Oh. Darius learned something. Uh, where is the thing? 
formation. What do we have? No, we got free fight. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. So we can't do this, I think. Is there's a lock? I think. Oh, we can. Okay. 80%. Come on. 80%. Go kick it, Undine. What? 80%. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely the charm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one. So, we're keeping... So, you only get to keep three items and then everything else is discarded. Okay, let's fight this one. No problem. Thank you, Sanku, for stopping by. Okay. Bubble snap. Poison bog. Ah, um... What was that? The 4 BP spell from Rogue. The, the butterflies. This one. The AoE one. So let's do that. Then swing. Our ring. Sorry, my somehow my internet has um, really bad react um, response time with JP servers. So my apologies for the long wait time earlier. Yeah. Uh. Nice. Okay. So we got Anima Stream that's for mitigating Blunt. And then we got Element Blunt uh, Mitigate for Rising Phoenix. That's pretty cool. Because it follows the same formation bonuses. And then it adds extra like this one. The first one it says blunt mitigate the second one is elements mitigate and then for the party we get agility plus 15 and then overdrive attack plus 10 percent the agility plus 15 it procs a turn starts with a medium chance this one it's uh, at battle starts um debuff everyone with i cave um 15 points all enemies that's sucky. <laughs> but yeah, it's all random. You can have like a super, super, um, all of the really good passive and then you're unstoppable by the time you get to the boss. <laughs> okay, so we want strength, dex, or intelligence. So it looks like we have intelligence because of Undine and death and maybe Darius. So we can do that. So usually you would want to focus on one stat and then you keep on getting like intelligence and whatnot. Okay, let's open a book. What do we have? So we can have a slash character, a blunt character, or a pierce character. Let's do pierce. And we got an item. Yay, Subir! Sorry, Neville Stern. Okay. Um, let's do. Ooh, I need this. And then let's do. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Let's go here. Come on. Come on. Okay. So we can get a uh, fire wind caster, water earth caster, light dark caster. So we'll do. Wait, who's the boss? 
Oh, we're definitely going for water. <laughs> Joe! Nice! We got Joe and Liz. And Jeannie. Sorry, Jeannie. <laughs> um, I guess Joe. Wait, let's see. Do you have the plus version of your Deus Wave? I cannot see. Okay, let's do Joe. And sorry. Ice Javelin Plus. Ice. Okay. Okay, we're going that way. Ah, uh, I hate this combo. I hate this enemy. This enemy right here is the bane of my existence in this game. He does a lot of um, charge attack to everybody. So we gotta disable him. <laughs> or kill him immediately. If possible. I gotta change... Um, Robin girl. No, not the. Ah. I hate you. Okay. Where's my items? How do I? Oh, I cannot. Huh? No, I can. Right here. Um, where is it? And then the LP penalty that you incurred is permanent, so that's the problem. Yeah, that's why I hate that enemy Tepwin. <laughs> nice. Nice one, Joe. I should be doing normal attack, but I'm also scared because I forgot to change my formation. <laughs> Splash. Pain. Okay, so I got the Dragon Plus with Intelligence, Magical Shower with Blunt Mitigate, and then still the Agility and the um, Cold Thunder Dark Attack plus 10%. For everyone that's cool and then bp plus one at battle starts one random alive character bp plus one that sucks <laughs> okay so we're definitely going for hmm so we don't have epe or spear and then we don't have martial arts so the best one would be Dex. Okay, change formation, don't forget. <laughs> uh, okay, anima stream. Let's put you at the back. Actually, you in the front. Okay, this works. So after this, we have um, an option to go for an, an ally or a random item, a random stuff, whether it's an item, an ability, or a character. So that's the book. The tent is guaranteed a character. Okay, let's do this. Don't you have like an AoE bubble pop? 
Okay. Stun. Oh, one shot. <laughs> Okay, anima sh Ooh, this one is good. Anima stream with N plus. And then everything else sucks. <laughs> uh let's do Hold and Thunder. That's the theme. Intelligence and Hold and Thunder. Hey Silsi, how are you? Just doing some battle historia right now. Nice. Okay. Dora, definitely. Um, sorry, Liz. Okay. Let's change up the formation again. There he is, here at the back. And then we do the int plus. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Like that. N plus, okay. Hey Saigon, how are you? Thank you for joining. Sorry, Saigon Senpai. <laughs> you you you're already finished with Spiral Corridor. I I can barely do Basil. <laughs> you know, Silsi, it's I, I was upset. I, I would be honest. Um I was super upset last night that I couldn't sleep and you know as a result I have low energy today but um I came to accepting that you know these are really good characters and it was worth it to pull them unfortunately I had to go almost pity for um the Linwood family but it's fine you know it's the nature of gotcha I just hope I get good luck by the time I do Katarina. <laughs> one draw. One single draw. That's all I ask. Okay, Earthworm. Do I get HP? Okay, that's HP. This is HP. What is this one? Okay, let's do that. Let's do Checkmate and Thunderclap. And there you see, do various things. I did that, Saigon, in global. I had really bad, um, really bad luck with the poles. So, friends, this is what happens if you don't fight enemies. <laughs> you just, you just get wrecked. Um, I don't have any items, I think. Yeah, I don't have any items. <laughs> Wait, I can do this. Okay, let's go, Undine. I should have done that at the start. <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine, um, Silsi. I mean, if you showed me your your pool and then you had better luck than me, it's not like I'm gonna not like you for showing your pools. I mean, it's not like that you're gonna show off your pools. It's just sharing that, hey, look, I, I had some good luck for a change. Something like that. That's how I'm gonna take it. Okay, so heat and sun defense. So this is good. Weak attack plus 10%. This is good too. Metal starts overdrive gauge plus 10%. This is good. And then BP plus 10 at, as an item. So that's good. And then HP plus. What is HP plus? Oh, more HP. So this is, I think, useful. Yeah, I agree with that Saigon. Uh, cold and thunder. That's the theme of this party. Oh, 
Okay. Let's go get some more characters. Of course, water element. Four nails. <laughs> Let's get this for Angelo. <laughs> I know Angelo is gonna watch and like, why didn't you get four nails? Uh, not yet, I think, Silsi. Let me finish this and then we can go through the the banners. Um, let's see. Let's do... Yeah, let's do one more character. I think I can replace um, Subir if anything. Because it's gonna be a magician themed party. And there's no... Ma well, Julia is magician, right? Yeah, Julia is magician. Yeah, let's go for Julia. Me too, Saigon. But, you know, I used up all my jewels. <laughs> um, I tried to get... Um, who was that? I tried to get Joe and Bartholomew. I, I got lucky with Bartholomew. So, <laughs> that's something, right? <laughs> Okay, this is fine. Um, how do I... Oh, this one. Recover HP. Okay. We fight. But um, I'm happy, Saigon. I got um, Barthelemy because, you know, I love my Overdrive party right now with Saga, Labelle, and Wagnes. Okay. Nice, bubble pop. Okay, let's do this. El Nino. Yeah, second multi I got uh, Bartholomy and then I think three more multis after I got nothing. <laughs> uh, Inside Needle. Anzoroji. Light Lance. Oh. Hi oh, hi Hydrocyclone. Let's do that. Don't be OP fast. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Okay. So I guess we can stall a little and learn some skills. So let's do that. Hopefully I don't regret my decision. Bubble pop, no stun. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm chill. I guess splash. Then attack. Me too, Saigon. Me too. <laughs> like, I, I, I suddenly got um, Narwhal's daughter after failing, um, whatchamacallit, after failing Spiral 180 during stream last time. <laughs> and it was Silsi who was the um, good luck charm back then. And that stream. Nice, Mad Thunder. Okay. Element mitigation. I, I don't care for that. Overdrive, attack, but it's sword and great sword. Eh. I think so. It was the, uh, I, no, it wasn't the single pool, but rather we had we had um, nine hundred jewels. So I said, oh, let's do two singles on Narwhal's daughter, and then let's do one single on the other banner, and then on the second single, we got um, Narwhal's daughter. <laughs> okay, heat and sun, axe and strength. So definitely heat and sun. Nice, thank you. Radiant Thunder. Okay, ally or ability? Ally or ability? Let's do ally. 
because I'm still not happy with um, Julia. Sorry, Julia. And we get Cordelia and um, uh, who's this? Narcissus. Narcissus is pretty good with the uh, Pile Detra, uh, Pile Petra. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. Okay, let's do a strong enemy. Yeah, let's do a strong enemy. So we get more stats. Hopefully, I don't regret my decision. Yeah, that that is. <laughs> well, I think I regretted my decision. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I would have picked fight too. I I I, ha I don't know how to play Battle Historia properly, Saigon. To be honest, I'm just playing for whatever, you know. Uh, sure, Dex. <laughs> then this one. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Auto magic. I have water hammer. Ha ha ha. Um. Heaven swing. Oh. Heaven's Dive. Okay. What is this? Sun- Ah, uh, Thunder Veil. Can I charm you? Maybe. 400. <laughs> What's this? Tyrant Wave. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I definitely regretted my decision. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die here. Pick upper, model magic, water hammer, inside needle. Don't black eyes on me, Sheraha. Don't black eyes. Ooh, paralyze. Okay, time for the BP plus 10. Oh, Anthology. There's HP. Okay, I'll do Anthology. Ah, don't die. That's number one, Dozy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Should we YOLO our way? I think so. We should YOLO. I guess Saigon, what do you think of um, Global having the early QOL that JP has? You know the you know the the dojo for example, the dojo nodes that everybody hates. <laughs> come on, Undine, come on, finish. Undine, come on, finish. Ah, not finish. Okay, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Go, Dora. No. 
Zero damage. Uh, okay. We're good. No problem, Saigon. D we're just interested with your um, thoughts about it. What is this? Nice. We get defenses. And we got um, endurance too. But it's by chance. But it's okay. There's so much um, extra stuff in Global um, Saigon that JP could have used. You know, like the Proof of World Tower equipment. That would have been super useful in Basil fight. <laughs> Ooh, Life Rain from Forneus. That's cool. Okay, are we getting new characters? Hmm, what are our items? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Hmm. Let's do one more ally. <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, formation. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Saigon. I, I, I'm so happy with Shirei. Shirei has all the utilities that I'm missing in JP. <laughs> I... I I hope Shire the SS1 is free, right? I hope he's free. <laughs> if not, I don't have jewels to pull for his SS. I already saw the S style and it looks promising. I mean, I saw um, Mia san um, getting SS Shire to style 50. So I'm hoping that is the case. <laughs> Uh, Ice Javelin is not AoE in JP. Don't, don't forget. <laughs> so the grind Saigon kind of, I guess, evolved with this version 3. Like, um, Merlot and Syra is not doing as much damage as how it was as how it was earlier. You know, in you know how we try to one shot everything with Merlot and Syra. <laughs> they can't do that anymore. Well I guess because also the enemies are not weak against uh, Thunder or Pierce. Okay, time to fight the boss that I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> okay, slash mitigate. Uh, okay. BP plus two, dex or taijutsu. Okay, BP plus two, I guess. Okay, boss time. Are we happy with Anima Stream? Let's do Blunt Mitigate. Then... Corneas can do 2 Life Rain, so that's cool. Everybody else looks okay. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, Fire Lord has double element, so the blunt won't won't help us much, right, Saigon? So Tiger Den with HP should have worked. 
It's okay. Come on, we got this, friends. We got this. Do I have any debuffs? <laughs> kick upper. Oh, kick upper. That's cool. Um, chill. Yeah, sure. Chill. Um, ice javelin. No endurance debuff like global. No endurance debuff. <laughs> Water hammer. And then Pile Petra. What was that? <laughs> okay, um, what do I have? Ah, okay. Hmm. Sure. I, I don't know. I don't know the turning for this, so it's okay. If we lose, we lose. Kick upper. Um, Auto Magic, Water Hammer, You suck, Narcissus. One hit on Pile Petra. <laughs> Rain, take upper, model magic, water hammer, rock fall. Well, Dora was blind with the sunglasses. Ah! <laughs> I have life rain. I can do that one more time. <laughs> uh. What do I use? I guess let's do um, Hydro Pump. Attack. 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 Okay, come on. Narciss, come on. Three hits. Pile Petra. Three hits. Insight Needle, Pick Upper, Muddle Magic, oh, no, let's do more attack I guess, and then Splash, Rock Fall. I mean Socho is nice really, if you want to do some quick um, boss farming, you know those one turn kind of thing, yeah Socho is super useful. Overdrive. I don't have. I I won't have what um. BP for life frame, but it's fine. I hope. <laughs> so that's why. I, uh, yeah, let's do it. Sure. Uh, Dora doesn't have anything. Model magic. Water hammer. Rockfall. Do hydro pump, pick upper, moto magic, sure, ice javelin, rock fall. It looks like we're gonna win. I don't want to preempt it because I'm gonna jinx myself.
Uh. Okay, I gotta do my last life rain just to be safe. Attack, attack. Ah, uh, every four turns then, um, Fire Lord does the Meteor Swarm, so that's good to know. Okay, Hydro Pump, Attack Attack, Rock Ball. I'm gonna wait for Undine to have to get out of paralysis and then we can do overdrive. Uh yes, Rydia. Um Saruin gets uh, more styles. I can show you after this. Okay. Uh Hydro Cyclone pick upper. Yeah, kick upper, water magic, water hammer, Hyle Petra. Can you do three hits, Narcissus, please? Nope, Narcissus says no. <laughs> This then. Nice. Sorry, so much learning that we don't need. <laughs> this is already at the end. But that was good. So I guess having the buffers is the way to go. I thought, you know, the the updated thinking of me with the how the game should be played that oh, we don't need the buffers anymore, but it looks like yeah, the buffer is the way to go. And having an AoE heal. Angelo, this is for you, Forneus. You're my lifesaver because of the life rain. <laughs> and other than that, it seems that the buffer is the way to go. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you, Saigon and Silsi. So yeah, this is my progress from last time. <laughs> I only did until 10. I got tickets. Yay. We're gonna train some folks. Hmm, thank you. Sorry. Uh, where are you? Let's train, um, Shire and Bartholomew. And I guess Yanfan. Uh, this one and Silver Emperor. You gotta have that, you know, that godlike ability, right, Saigon? For... Um, for that difficulty. If if you don't, then you just get nothing. It's impossible. So this is Shirei, by the way, Celsi. Um, he is a wandering minstrel. And supposedly, his story is mainly to tell story about whatever it doesn't really say as um what the story is about but um oh this is faster okay this is cool 
They finally made it faster, Saigon. <laughs> Okay, so let's go, um, what was that? Hi! You wanna say hi to your new uncle friends who just joined? Uncle Saigon and Uncle Silsi, yeah? With your stinky breath and all? Bowie says hi! She was wagging her tail when I was talking to you guys, yeah. Oh, not this, I'm sorry, I can't show that. Uh, where, where am I going? <laughs> Oh, the, eh, no, free quest. Yeah, she went in her um donut, Silsi. So she has a bed. She has a bed that's shaped like a donut, and she loves hanging in there. Okay, let's go do this. So Saigon, the the way the event works, if I'm not mistaken, um Oh. I gotta do this. Okay. Oh wait wait, not that one. Character ga it uh uh Okay, let's do that. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think? No, I'm wasting it. <laughs> it's okay. What was I gonna ask? Oh, um, Saigon. So how the event works? Um, you just fight Noel and then eventually you get the drop for the... For the map. Is that how it is? Yeah, it's times one game. Okay. Wait, I gotta do expedition on Shire. Sorry about that. <laughs> because it seems like you have to keep on fighting Noel, and then eventually the the map would drop, and then you fight those enemies, and then it gains certain level. I kind of don't have a grasp yet of. What's going on in JP? <laughs> I'm a little confused still. <laughs> okay, let's put Shire. See? That, me too, Saigon. Me too. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, where am I going? Request. <sighs> I'm still lost with this new UI. <laughs> okay, let's do... 100 at a time, I guess. So, for everyone's knowledge, this ticket is... It's an easy way to get some characters um, at maximum level. Um, I don't know why I'm on overdrive because the <laughs> the enemy has just 1 HP. But it's really good to catch up with HP. Yeah, just like that. Um, yeah, I gained a lot of stuff. But it would be so much faster if I have the potion. But I don't want to use it on them. I'm grinding on Noel, um, Saigon. I'm treating it like a, like a raid boss node and a conquest. I have um, RD and then some direct attack folks. 
and they just wreck the boss. <laughs> Noel, rather. I mean, Hardy doing casual 500, 500,000 damage, you know. <laughs> okay. Almost. Oh, they get so much style XP too. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna keep the rest of the tickets then. And then I just gotta play more Battle Historia mode. Do I get anything? Okay. Then this one... We don't have jewels again. <laughs> that sucks. It's like the last time, um... What should I call it? Saigon, right? We only had a trophy rather than having, um... An actual... What should I call it? An actual 2,000, 3,000 jewels. And then for the main story, look, I only finish one part and then no more after. Is it just stage one? That's it? Is it zero energy, which is so weird. I mean, this is the only story. There's no other thing to click. So that makes me wonder. Okay. Let's go back to beating up Noel. <laughs> it's like this, um, Saigon. I, I, I kept on fighting Noel and then I got this. And then I guess it levels up the more you fight the enemies. But um, how do I fight the other one, I guess? Because it looks like I can only... Oh, you get your shard to upgrade SSS weapon. I don't know. I, I kept on fighting Noel. <laughs> then let's bring um, Shire here. And Bartholomew. So that they can level up. Bertelemy just looks cool. I love it. Okay. Um, I I'm sorry. Um, Rydia, I I want you wanted to what you call see other um Saruin units. So I'll show you after this. I'm sorry. I I forgot. Wait, I have full overdrive? Oh, because of um Bartholomew. Oh, um whatchamacallit. Emilia and um Hardy can do two shot on this, so that's good. By the way, Saigon, without Maria or Death, I I, I tried doing Bert um Bertrand, and I reached fifty percent HP, and then Bertrand just stopped dodging and stopped countering, so I died. <laughs> but somehow, I I I made it work until fifty percent. <laughs> I I I'm I'm as surprised as you if you're surprised. <laughs> Oh, 
So basically what I did is um, the ultimate glass cannon setup. Um, I I put in people that can benefit Bertrand and then Bertrand is just you pray for Bertrand to dodge and counter everything. I'll, I'll show you after this. So Rydia in um, so probably if not October, maybe December or February or late January is when the next Sadoween would arrive, which is this one. So this is the Minstrel Song um, double banner. So the heroes and the villains. The hero side has Mirza, Aldora, and Minstrel. Minstrel is on my top um, must pull because of Oratorio. Then the villain side. There's Sheraha, Saruin, and then Death. So Saruin and Sheraha are pretty, you know, buddy buddies. Um, Saruin being the DPS, and because he has um, extra dark element attack, and also giving the so that gives he gives that to the entire party, and also gives the entire party that if they use a dark element attack. That they're also gonna get an extra BP plus one, so that's why I'm Saigon. If you see some of my Bertrand videos, I bring um, Saruin with me, so that if he counters with Dominant Blaze, that um, he would get an extra BP plus one on top of the passive BP plus one for Dark Element, and so on with um, Frostbite. So that's why Saruin is just pretty helpful. Um, on his time being the top DPS and then now that we have new new age of DPS really strong DPS that um, Saruin kind of plays a support role this time you are benefiting from the passive that he gives um, other than Saruin so this is the ministerial I I am pushing to everyone, just like how I'm pushing um, Virgil to everyone too. <laughs> but this ministerial, he has this skill Oratorio. So Oratorio is a five BP, and then gives BP plus one to everyone with a willpower buff. So that's why when the double ba banner dropped, the first character that I chase for is ministerial. I, I knew that he's going to be useful with this and I feel that I made a good decision. Yes, that is true Saigon that he got obsolete really quick. However, um, during the Tatooine Tower, he was very instrumental to me. Um, I used the Music Fest so that he has some protection and then he has a passive extra small heal and then he can do he, he can just keep on doing oratorio basically with that um today i still use ministerial more for passive and oratorio still um the music fest i feel has more value in terms of giving bp giving heal and so on it's not to the same extent as the updated characters we have right now but you know it's something I mean, for me, that I only have this, that I use what I want. So, but that is true, Saigon. I I, I totally agree with you that um, Ministro got, got um, obsolete really quick. Actually, come to think of it, um, Saigon, a lot of characters actually got obsolete like in within a two months span, right? Because that's when JP started to release banners in a one week cycle rather than the 1.5 week cycle so that's why ev every new character suddenly became more overpowered in a way that i mean it's not like they're really 100 percent needed of course exception is maria and death but um you can still use old characters and they would still be useful, not to the same extent as they were on release, but they can still help a little in a way. So just like how I, I how I did my um, Basil party, 
that I'm still relying on for RNG. Um, it's this one right here. So I was able to figure out uh, an equipment where no problem, Silsi. Thank you. Um, that Bertrand is able to um, resist all the elements that Basil would um, attack you, except for Sun Element that he does take zero damage, so it's fine. And then um, all the party members benefit Bertrand. <laughs> um, Ministral with the 10% um, attack and defense this one uh damage mitigate this one and then he also has the remembrance sword so that's extra nine percent um damage and mitigate and then saruin the passive for dark and then for rock bouquet i keep on using the heal so that um bertrand would have extra defense up sometimes i can do two sometimes i can do three um Narwhal's Daughter with Heat Up and then also extra damage mitigate. So in a way, it makes it that Bertrand doesn't die really fast. But it's it's not the best, you know, but that's what I have. And like I said, I made it halfway with really good RNG. So it's really hard to rely on that. I'll do a couple runs. Um... Rydia or anybody else on chat, let me know if you have any requests um, for showcase and whatnot. Um, I'll do a couple runs with this and then I can do 180 real quick. Um, Rydia, just to show you how the current capability looks like now in JP so that you have an idea what's going on. Uh, I just do whatever with this. Q Saba. My problem here, Saigon, is even though I can survive until turn 3, I can't keep up with the damage. So that's why I opted for a glass cannon approach with Bertrand instead. But you know, you have to rely on that 37% chance of dodging, which is a pain in the butt. Um, are you up to date with the current story in Global, Rydia? Okay, so we already met um, Hiviris and uh, the twins Merlot and Syra, so they would have their own banners. Um, along with that, there's also other characters um, with them. Um, I forgot who who is with Merlot and Syra, but um, I remember Hiveris having um, Forneus and um, Subir, and then Hardy would have um, Dantarg, I think. Dantarg and Death, from what I remember, and then Orlet would have. Would have Macha and somebody else I forgot too. And then there's the other banner with Kami, Megami, and Esper Girl. Different from the Halloween Esper Girl. And then there's Razem, Arthur, and um, Alan. Ah, Death, Dantarg, and Merlot, and Syra. Yep. Oh, is it Megami with Orlet? I thought Megami was with Kami. So Kami, Megami, and um, Esper Girl. Wait, it's kind of themed, um, Rydia. Ah, I see. I, 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 I'm definitely wrong on that tap win. I couldn't, um, I couldn't remember the banners. Because I remember getting Merlot and Syra really lucky that I stopped pulling from the banner. 
I got lucky with Hardy Banner and I stopped pulling as well. My main goal was just to collect the villains, that's why. Oh, it's Metal Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're correct. Metal Black, Hardy, and Noel. Metal Black is the the wall of text um, passive where it's turn ones, turn twos, he would follow up with this. Turn three, he would follow up with this. Turn four, he would follow up with this. I remember that. <laughs> that was a, a really interesting passive. Noel in that one needs a lot of um, buffing, especially the upcoming saga style. That one is just super underwhelming. Just like Macha, I would think that if they put in extra capability for Noel um, for the saga one and this one too, that I think that would encourage people to pull for Noel. For me, I'm just targeting Katarina and that's it. But you know, maybe they're gonna put in some interesting buffs that I'm gonna eat my words again. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to be my last try for this. I know it's going to be boring because we're relying on 37% chance to for Bertrand to dodge any of the attacks and 50% chance to counter. So, and then the direct attack are not often done, so not much counter is happening. See, I, I lost the flip coin. <laughs> But yeah, this is how I'm approaching 190 um, Saigon. Everything is benefiting Bertrand and hope for the best. Latch on RNG. <laughs> I lost the coin flip there too. Really? There's a Berserk mode on this boss? It's already 4 attacks. What more can I take? <laughs> no! I only reach 50%. <laughs> There's no Berserk mode. I'm only gonna keep on happy path. <laughs> uh, hopefully. So let me show you this one. Um, but um, so the AoE Saigon, is it including the Ouroboros? Because if it does, then I would be able to counter it properly. If not, then I'm dead. <laughs> so Rydia, this is the party I used to clear 180. This is more of an overdrive approach. Basically, the combo for Saga Labelle and Astrologist Wagnas makes it for a really good combination for um, approaching a battle with overdrive and then the representing overdrive attack would be Ellie said so Ellie said keeps on stacking her skill number two so she can add more of her skill number three when she does an overdrive attack so it might be confusing as I explain it so I'll just I'll just do that is it just one time Ouroboros um Saigon if it's multiple Ouroboros, if I dodge everything and then, whatchamacallit, if I dodge everything and I countered everything, then that would help a lot. Oh, one time. That sucks. <laughs> oh, in global. Okay. Um, let me finish this, Leo, and then we can move back to global. I'm just showing um, Spiral 182 people. And how are you? Thank you for joining. Um, just in case you're confused, um, Leo, uh, 
the artwork I have on display on the stream. Um, to the right, um, it was done by Emojiro-san. Um, this is like a little funny um, picture he edited just to say goodbye to Final Isle because as part of the version 3 update, a lot of the stuff we have in Global is getting removed. So like the the Pyrohydra, for example, um, Zweig, uh, what else? The mining, everything is removed. You exchange it with coins. And so Final Isle was removed. So he made this little picture with Boston crying and saying goodbye to the Lady Lobster. Um, apparently, she is dubbed as Ebiko. That's the name. So, yeah, it's just funny. Oh, cold night. So is it early morning your time? You don't have to answer if you're not comfortable. Um, for me, it's almost 10 o'clock my time. And it's getting chilly too because it was raining earlier. 4 a.m. Ah, you are on somewhat east coast time. Okay, good to know. Stop with the vapor blast. <laughs> Ah. Uh, is it Bienvenido? That's the welcome, right? Bienvenido. Sorry, I only know like one or two words from other language, so... Pardon me with my very, very limited vocabulary. <laughs> my neighbor is Brazilian and they they teach me random Brazil words. Um, I, I learn about it and then I forget the next day. I'm sorry. <laughs> because for me to memorize some words, I have to keep on practicing. And I don't have anybody to talk with other than them. <laughs> oh, um, Saigon, they added back the the animation when you get um HP heal. They kind of remove it the last time, right? So now I saw like a green aura when healing. Yeah, it shows up again. Oh, so you do you understand some Korean words, um, Rydia? <laughs> it's okay. Um, even for me too. Like sometimes I confuse um Korean with Japanese. That sometimes some of the words like. Wait, isn't it said this way? Oh, no, 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 that's Korean. Because I watched some Korean folks as well, and I tried to learn some language. But again, you know, I, I forget it after the day because I don't have anybody to practice with. <laughs> anyway, so this is the capability of current um, what's available in JP, Rydia. Basically, it's either you're giving the party extra capability with passive just like what Wagnus was doing for the party the reason why Wagnus is here is because he gives everyone the ability to do extra small heal when doing overdrive and Labelle is here to give overdrive to everyone um, every other turn so that's why I, I mentioned that they are kind of like the dream team in a way because you give the overdrive and at the same time you have healing source out of the overdrive so that makes it kind of allow me to survive this battle because as you saw the damage is ridiculous um i am on rising phoenix and some of the um Kirin's attack is spell based so i should be having less damage but i i'm still getting like a thousand ish damage ah benvindo yeah 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 I, 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 I learned that some of the 
lang some of the words are close to Spanish, but it's said in a different way. I was um. So one 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 funny story. I'm Leo. I so I work in IT. Um, I was supposed to be assigned to Brazil for for a work assignment, a long term one. So at that time, when they were applying for my visa, I was um, I was told by my company to take on courses about um, Portuguese, and that's one of the stuff I learned that because I'm from Philippines, um, a lot of the Filipino words are Spanish um, from the Spanish language that you know just like for Portuguese that it's said in a different way um, one of the thing I learned is some of the Portuguese words are very similar to Spanish but like what you said bienvenido versus bienvin bienvindo is how it's mentioned same for Maria Saigon um, I think with Barthelemy, I don't know if you are aiming for Barthelemy, but Barthelemy feels like a better Saga label in a way. But again, I, I, I just had to test it out to know how they are. And then Leo here in so I currently reside in um, Hawaii, and there there are some Portuguese here, por Portuguese people, natural born, and then there's a a slang word called uh, purugi, so it's a p u r o g g e e purugi, so that means like it's a person that that's like fibbing or um, you're saying something that's not realistic. So you're a purugi. It's not anything against the Portuguese, but it's more of a, a term that they use in general for people that are fibbing. That's that's kind of how I relate with um, Portuguese, although I don't know anything about Portuguese at all. So my apologies on that one. <laughs> that's the closest one I know. At least here in Hawaii, that's how they call it, the purugi. <laughs> But I'm um, here. Also, we have Portuguese sausage. I don't know if it's from Portuguese. Um, it's basically sausage that's a little spicy, kind of like chorizo kind, but um, thicker. Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese is a hell to non-speakers and new speakers. <laughs> that is true. Um, I I would say that um, Ger uh, I, I would say German and French stands out for the words, so I agree with you with that. That if somebody is new, looking in, trying to learn the language, would have a hard time trying to pick up the language immediately. I mean, it's not to say that it's really hard, but it is a little complicated. Um, I don't think I can clear Kirin by turn 8, but let's see. That's how much I, I fought this battle Saigon. Um, I can tell if by turn 8, with this amount of HP, can I clear it or not? Sometimes it can with combo or you know if Kami got got the overdrive but without the overdrive on Kami this is almost impossible yeah it's impossible oh that's a uh, Kami Leo um you we get him as part of the the finale the finale um gacha so what should I call it Kami's thing is if sorry let me get out of this and then I'll show you and then after this I'll move to global and then we can talk about the banner before I end the stream
Um, so Kami, it looks like this. He has ability. You know, um, do you have um, the Overdrive Emilia in Global? So Overdrive Emilia, if you do a Blunt or Sun element, you get specific buffs, right? Um, BP plus 2, Defense Boost, and so on. So Kami is the same thing. If Kami does a certain element, he would get um, certain stuff. Like doing Heat Element, Attack Boost, Cold Element, Defense Boost, Thunder Element, um, Defense Down to the target, and then Sun Element, BP plus 1. And then whenever he does an attack type of attack, depending on his HP, he would follow up a certain skill. So he would follow up with this if HP is not full so that he can heal some extra extra small heal. Or follow up with Heaven's Wrath Plus, which is if his HP is full. So different elements at that. And then when he does an overdrive attack, he would follow up with his skill number 3, which is a C attack. And then it's a uh, three to four hits, and then it's thunder and sun element. So combining all of those passive, Kami makes it that he is like a pseudo tank and a really really good DPS, and works well with the overdrive party, just like how I designed this party. So like I said earlier, Wagnas and Labelle. Wagnas gives extra small heal to everyone whenever they do an overdrive attack. So that's why you keep on seeing that I keep on getting healed whenever I do an attack. That's because of Wagnas. And then Labelle. Labelle gives Overdrive Gauge to everyone except to herself every other turn. Because this one has one usage. And um, yeah, this one has one usage. This one right here. And then um, you use skill number 3. And then because of her passive, when she uses skill number 3, she gets an plus one usage of skill number two that's why you alternate skill number three and then skill number two basically you can do overdrive every other turn because of labelle and so with that with them two and then with uh the two characters i have um kami and ellie said being overdrive oriented that this kind of perfects the the party the only thing missing here is intelligence debuffer and cleanser for the Time Lord battle in which I pick Finale Macha. So Finale Macha is more into debuff, um, cleansing and debuffing. So you know um, Saga Rock Bouquet right now in Global? So same thing with her skill number 3. Macha would be able to do the same. Um, cleanse Intelligence and then debuff Intelligence at the same time. And she, the other thing she has is Agility which is Cleanse Agility and then debuff with Agility. Macha can go on countdown that after she uses either burning down or rock gravity that she can go on countdown that the following turn she can use um, elemental comet which does the same thing debuffs but both agility and intelligence and then would debuff sorry with would cleanse rather agility and intelligence and then debuff agility and intelligence along with it so that's why Macha was the perfect candidate for um, whatever I need for Spiral 180. Um, let me move to Global real quick and then we can talk about the banner. Sorry, I don't think I updated my banners for Global, so my apologies. It's still the reprint. <laughs> Um, so Leo, what, what were your question about the banners? Is it just the reprint or all four banners? Um, reprint for, sorry, the select ticket, the bottomless banner, and the new banners. Do you want me to go through all of those? The new banners, okay. Uh, Kami banner should be far, should be around at least five months. Because it's tied up to the final chapter of the story, unless they... Mix, um, they remix the the banner drop again and they release Kami early. So if they do that, I it's going to be GG for me because I don't have jewels. <laughs> okay, new banner. Um, for the first one, this one, um, I would rate Rock Bouquet as the highest for this one. 
mainly because of skill number two. Skill number two in its own is already good from JP because um, what um, if you notice when the attack hits it reduces targets all attribute small effect it doesn't say there's a chance to reduce the targets blah 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 so you don't have to roll on that you know how overtuned the global global challenges are so you don't have to roll on that as long as rock bouquet can land the hit then sh then she would be able to debuff the enemy and then on top of that for global um she excuse me excuse me sorry about that um she does an extra attack down to the target and um i mentioned this in um whatchamacallit in discord and to random folks in my previous stream that attack down so this one um saigon is uh, bogyo jaka this is not um heat down like uh hiveri says it's a little weird how um, Global named it. Like defense down um, is the, um, sorry, um, attack down is Kogeki Jaka. The other one is Bogyo Jaka, the defense defense down. Defense down in JP is the permanent one, right? So it's a little weird on how Global named it. Anyway, so um, for this one, it's, uh, it's a little overpowered i would think and very useful for brock bouquet to have this capability along with the debuff because you would want to keep on using skill number two especially on hard content so that's why i love rock bouquet here and she was my top choice here uh, on this banner if you were to pull on the two banners if you were wanting to choose i would say pick um this one but this is more hard content oriented is the other side of it that you won't have much much usage in farming for rock bouquet because it's going to be a one time use for gobi spark and then she would fall back with doing normal attack or if you have her um, other saga style the octopus one then she can do dark pulse to keep on spamming that and also rock bouquet has the intrinsic ability this one is the 37% chance that we were relying earlier with um, Bertrand to do dodging. So as long as you gear Rock Bouquet properly, then she would be resisting damage and um, do dodging like a rock star. I saw that um, when I faced uh, Sarawin in the Sarawin Tower in JP. I used uh, Rock Bouquet on that one. I believe... No, no, no. Not that one. Um, A different different floor not Saruin. i didn't use rock bouquet in that one um the other characters here are okay um matcha i would say has some utility so because her skill number three has sundered so sundered this started with martial arts ellen where when you inflict sundered that every every hit that you do for example your attack does four hits random target but it hit the enemy with sundered that the enemy would get defense down four times the, um, depends on the number of hits you do not the number of attacks that's why it can help your damage overall and is perfect for a party with Liam like what Siegfried mentioned in discord um, mainly because um, Liam's damage is getting a little falling under um, between the cracks um, in terms of keeping up with the top tier DPS. So having people with Sundered and Liam attacking last would be a good way for Liam to be keeping up with the damage that's expected of a DPS. So that's the main, main input from Macha. And then later on, as you saw, the finale matcha is pretty useful and having this saga magical train if you don't need to do the um, cleansing of the buff or debuffing then you can do saga magical train because it's tied up to the skill compared to Ellen where Sundered is tied up to an ability. But again, this is not really important. I would between a defense down versus an attack down hands down i would always say go for the attack down 
even I, I would think Saigon would agree. He would agree, right, Saigon? <laughs> that um, attack down, moral down, and defense boost and guard up is the future. We would be overwhelmed with damage. That's what you saw with how much damage I was taking from Kirin. Um, because I don't have the proper defenses that I would almost instantly die if I don't have the overdrive heal. And that's what I was looking for in in JP. That's why I was chasing for the latest Joe. Because Joe just gives attack boost and defense boost to everyone like no tomorrow. So that's why if between defense down and attack down, attack down is the, the higher value. Defense down kind of sort of have value, but it's not as valuable as an attack down. And then lastly, um, Matriarch. So I think, I, I know one of the community manager um, always reads my, uh, my post on Reddit. So he must probably read my Matriarch feedback there where the reason why I wasn't um, recommending Matriarch is because the lack of defense in, in JP. She didn't have the intrinsic ability um, in JP. So that's why she was so squishy. Even though we already had this, we would still fall back to Valentine style back then because this is just too squishy to bring in a hard content. And back then, it was the Tiger Den method that you wanted to act last. And this matriarch gives you an action order boost, which is what you don't want in Tiger Den. So that's why this matriarch just has lower value compared to the Valentine one. And now they change it where now she has intrinsic, so now she has a lot of defenses in her. But again, intrinsic is always tied up to um, gearing that character properly for you to be able to take advantage of the dodging and the extra mitigation that you would get. Um, the Pion of Tranquility, I would say it's pretty... it's okay. Um, I, would, I would say between Matriarch and Liz, I would pick Liz because Liz can have that counter where if she is direct attack after an overdrive attack, that she would keep on using skill number three that would keep on giving defense boost to the party, which is very useful. So Saigon, um, the in in global, so Polka and and Liz give uh, attack boost and guard up right guard up for liz so the for liz they change liz to defense boost because um whenever she does an overdrive attack she would buff herself with um water wall counter this one so on water wall counter if she if she gets direct attack for that turn that she has that buff she would counter with skill number three that's why they changed this to defense boost so that um, it would stack with one another if for that turn she has already some defense boost or you know if you have external sources of defense boost in the party same goes for polka so for polka if he does an overdrive attack he would um, buff himself with kuroge wagyu counter which is this one if he gets the wreck attack he would follow up he would counter with skill number three and now the the attack boost is for everyone not just for everyone but polka it's now for all party member and then the hp regen got um buffed to five turns and then the mitigation this one extra five percent it was 25 percent mitigation in jp 30 percent in global and then joe the glacial ray um, they changed it to the use, usage limit per battle rather than LP. So, um, Joe can now both use Glacial Ray and um, Water of Life. That was my issue with Joe. That's why I wasn't using um, Glacial Ray back then. Anyway, so Leo, for the other banner, um, like I said, Rock Bouquet is the top. And then probably mid would be Matriarch. And then last would be Macha. Um, taking note that Rock Bouquet is more hard co hard content oriented and then Matcha is more into farming oriented. 
So if you need that, depending on what you need, of course, would be, um, would be what would dictate what you would like to pull for the new banner. And then for this one, they are also both cater catering for um, hard content for Joe and Liz. Joe, very simple. Uh, she can spam her skill number two every other turn, and um, so you had that constant moral down medium effect, and that's pretty helpful in a hard content scenario, especially um, in Sadowin Tower where I tried doing no moral down. I got wrecked easy, so I had to bring a moral down back then, and Joe was my candidate for that. And then Liz, like I said, um, defense boost between. Um, Liz and Matriarch, I would pick Liz anytime. Even though Matriarch can spam her Pie of Tranquility every every turn, um, Liz would be able to use Defense Boost every other turn if you let her focus on this one. And then bonus, if you do Overdrive and she gets the Wreck Attack, you get more Defense Boost for that one. And they both do one turn only. Aqua Bash, don't forget that so um, Saigon, Aqua Bash, ever since the implementation in Global, it's already um, buffing um, Willpower or Seishin. So when the Plus version came out, they just added the Will buffing to that one. So um, this would help for people who don't want to pull for Apollo to just bring Liz instead for death, you know. For death, you need like three sources of willpower buff. <laughs> Remember that battle? It's so stupid. <laughs> and then Polka is more for farming, Leo. Um, so Flaming Flash is the way to go. You would um, do alternate. Or actually, he can do Flaming Flash for two consecutive turns from what I remember. Is it? No, he cannot. So it's every other turn that he can use the Flaming Flash. And it's pretty strong. S damage for 7 BP. Um, let me show you how strong it is. I think I still have my party. And this is where you guys farm, by the way. Okay? Go to Taku. And go to... And then defeat these... Um, these... Witch's Daughter. And you're done. <laughs> Three actions. I'm using it with um, Robin, um, Ragged Robin, by the way. So, Ragged Robin is style 50, Chef Polka is still sh um, style 46. One twenty six thousand easy. <laughs> well, earlier it was um, 115, but because I have Aunas with me, that I get um, a heat element attack boost. So that's why um, Polka did more damage than usual. So for the um, Linwood banner, I would say Liz is the top pick, and then um, probably Polka and then Joe. Joe, even though Moral Down is, like I said, a high value skill, um, it's something that's very common. And later on, you would be in a dilemma where if you go for Final Empress, the um, the four-year anniversary in JP Final Empress, then Joel would be not as useful anymore. Mainly because um, Final Empress can give heat up on heal, heat up to the party as a passive, and then moral down, and then heal, um, extra small heal with Holy Moon Inherit, so, so much capability that um, Joe just to heal and um, moral down. So that's why Joe, even though having medium is the ideal way, it's low value in a way that if you're looking ahead in the future. Um, which one, Andy? The final Empress one? OP Goodberry. What is that? I don't know that. And then Leo, for the um for the bottomless banner for um for the romancing Matsuri, there's 
Let me see. Let me see the the characters. I don't have it memorized yet. So for the for the romancing fest, I would think um time would have the the best value, but probably in within the next one month to two months max. Um I would think either Rouge or if you don't have UDX Silver, get this one. Silver is just pretty useful. Um But again, I don't know how much you can invest in that bottomless banner for um romancing fest. Uh Depending on what you're missing for Remembrance Battle or what you prefer for hard content or for farming is, you know, what would dictate this. Um, personally, for me, I would pick something unique, which is Time, um, uh, the Global Exclusive Rouge, Silver, um, or Pina is um, repeatable, so not too much. Um, or Gnana, because rare, very rare healer for Axe. And then Cindy Campbell. You won't have issues with gun with Cindy Campbell. Ah, that's good then. That's good, that's good. I mean, it's, it's good to have all the characters in that one. Not necessary, but um, if you get them, that that's still good. And then for Ultra Deluxe Banner... Um, one thing that's really notable, and even um, Gauri, that um, Korean uh, YouTuber for Global, he he did a paid paid gacha just to get fifteen thousand token, and then pitied for Esper Girl, mainly because Esper Girl, with the Halloween style, you would want to have dimensional aura, so that you would have guard up to everyone, and then extra defenses, so. The way Halloween Esper Girl works is whenever she does an attack, she has a, I think, extra large chance, very large chance. So that's 45% to follow up with telekinesis, which is this one with an extra small heal. So every other turn with Dimensional Aura Inherit that she would be able to keep on using Dimensional Aura and then do whatever for the next turn and then Dimensional Aura again. She is the only one that stands out for UDX. The other one would be Saruin if you go for Saruin. Saruin because you would want to have Destructive Blow as an Inherit for the next Saruin. And with that, Saruin would become one of the best farmer during his time until Merlot and Syrah becomes available. And lastly, the other one is Bertrand. If you would like to go for School Bertrand, you would want to pull for this Bertrand. Uh, no, 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 not this one. The second one um, on Romancing Fest because that Romancing Fest has um, Frostbite and Frostbite, in my opinion, and Saigon, you, you might say differently. I know Astaloth says differently that having Frostbite is not really necessary for School Bertrand, but for me, I feel that Frostbite is very helpful for that. The reason for that is um, Frostbite is dark and cold element. For when School Bertrand does um, school uh, dark element that he would get BP plus one. When he does a cold element, he would get all attributes of medium effect. That's why if I need to have a cooldown from using skill number three, that I would use Frostbite instead. Yeah, me too, Frostbite. So Frostbite is from the the Romancing Fest style um, Bertrand. Let me see if I if he is here. I would think he is here. Let me see. Oh, Bertrand is not here. That's weird. Huh. Really? Or is it not capturing my keywords? Because I know Dominant Blaze farming was a thing back then. Where are you, Bertrand? Oh, Bertrand is not here, I guess. So he must be in the exchange then. Let's see. Uh, hold on. 
Sorry. Are you here, Bertrand? Oh, you gotta get Virgil. Anybody who doesn't have Virgil, get Virgil. He's the best character. And I'm kidding. I love Virgil, so... Don't listen to that. <laughs> this one, school, um, this Bertrand for Frostbite. This Frostbite is super helpful for School Bertrand if you go for that route um, later on. Alright, um, what else? So UDX, Esper Girl, and Saruin, everybody else is okay. You don't need Elised for the Saga Elised to work. Um, Darius is fine as he is right now because Boisterous Blade wasn't buff. Um, he was buff as an ability, so that's why, yeah. Uh, Macha is okay. Um, her her role with intelligence debuffing goes away and becomes the burning down later on with the finale style. So you, you're good with that. Yeah, Saruin and... Um, what's that? Saruin and Esper Girl are notable on that one. For Saga Soul, there's really... Nobody notable here, to be honest. Um, Sparrow would still be helpful for row farming slash and pierce. I would highly recommend Sparrow. Um, Soji is okay, but if you have Kingsei, then Kingsei is enough. You don't need Soji. Pyrex, um, he would have he would become a row farmer, which is a little awkward because this one is column farmer. So a little weird for that one. And yeah, that's it. No n nobody notable really on on the um bottomless banner. Uh Cream Heal is okay for three rounder farming. But um she would still be useful for the next couple months until Merlot and Syra shows up. Yes, Virgil is the best Rydia. <laughs> yeah, Creamhild if you need farming. Um and it Creamhild is more AoE and she focuses on Thunder and Pierce, which is really um strategic element. And Sparrow covers two major elements, um slash and pierce. So for Sparrow, he would be able to train four characters on a row farming. Cream Heal would have to have an extra character to take care of um, round two because she would be on countdown on round two for that one. And then the character you, you got, Rydia, Socho. So Socho is more on single target farming with this one right here, skill number three. Skill number three and forget, basically. <laughs> Um, Kirin, I hope that he has some updated style in the future or like global exclusive style. But other than that, he is a little outdated now. Um, kind of RNG based with the intelligence and will buffing. So, yeah. Um, what else? For the exchange, let's see who's notable here. Yeah, nobody notable here for my select, select ticket. Um, Megami is good if you go for the music fest style because the music fest style with this um, heart of goddess is mm, super good and then who else Emilia with sweet hit is okay but we're gonna have bunny Emilia soon um, for new years or maybe earlier if they choose to do that and then um I, for me, I, I plan to do the Overdrive Emilia to have the Bunny bunny Show skill from Bunny Emilia and then just keep on giving Overdrive to everyone with Overdrive Emilia. So this one is no longer needed if that's the case. Alkaiser is okay. Cordelia, she would be busy becoming a strength debuffer with the Bunny style. So not needed for this one either. Rich, he had his time, so he's getting um, pushed back for the um, for farming. Of course, Virgil, the best character, definitely worth the ticket because he's the best character ever, and he's my favorite. So don't listen to me on that one. 
Um, Acellus, not really needed. Bertrand, I already added my piece about Frostbite. Um, Joe, um, no, but nothing really hi highlightable from here. Um, Mariah, Mariah, it's okay. But I don't think Mariah would would be still helpful at this time. Maybe there is some very niche Mariah application in the future where Mariah with the latest Joel would be a, in combination and then keep on healing and attack boost and defense boost for everyone. So that's my stake. So Mariah still has an edge. Because I'm Saigon in, in global... Mariah has Tepeki Mamori 6, so Iron Iron Wall 6. So she has 40% um, damage mitigate. And then whenever she gets attacked, she has a 50% chance to, um, to give extra small heal to the party. So she's totally different from JP version where she has to do normal attack and then she would follow up with splash, right? That's how her design in JP. And then her pure barrier doesn't need um, LP as well. Like zero. Nothing. Not even a usage limit. It's just 5 BP. So Mariah, I think, would still have an edge um, in the future. Uh, who else? This Liz is okay. Droplet is fine to have. But um, not really that necessary. This Bune is okay as well. Hi, Mia-san. Konnichiwa. Uh, yeah, that's it. No, nobody else. The more I scroll down, the more that that other characters are becoming less relevant, unfortunately. Oh, Forneas. I'm sorry. I gotta say that. Forneas is relevant for Angelo. <laughs> um, Angelo would say that Forneas is the best character. So gotta I, I have to mention that. <laughs> um Halloween White Rose, she had her time, but she's too squishy now to be included in um in any hard content, so she would definitely die. Um Final Empress still has an edge because of Imperial Shield. This one doesn't exist in um in JP um Saigon because this one is the paid skin for Final Empress. So this one, they made it as a style in Global. Um, Final Empress has this skill called Imperial Shield. So with the um, the four-year anniversary Final Empress with Imperial Shield, that's just like the best support that you can have in a party. You have Moral Down, you have a healer, a single target healer, you get Heat Up sources, and then you also get a Damage Block. This is not a one-time damage block, so it it nullifies all your damage um, for that turn. Um, the only downside is you can't be um, disabled. Like say, you can't be paralyzed, confused, um, what else? Paralyzed, confused, petrify, and sleep. Because if, and stun. So if, if so, then um, this wouldn't take effect. And it's the same for regular damage block. So Final Empress would still have an edge, mainly for Imperial Shield. And that is if you um if you decide to pull for a four year Final Empress. Um who else? Uh Acellus not so much anymore. Hmm. So Sarawin, if you decide to pull for Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Sarawin later, then definitely go for the um, UDX Sarawin. However, so Leo, the caveat to that is it's going to be a two rounder farming with Destructive Blow. But if you don't have Destructive Blow, then Sarawin has his um, skill number two that can be spammed for three rounds. And even though it's just dark element, it's still something that Sarawin can do for farming and it's still strong. So just think about it if you want to go for Sarawin. For Bertrand, 
if you want to go for school bertrand later on with the counter capability then definitely give it a shot with frostbite but um personally for me i'm scared of the bottomless banner especially if they don't have like a specific rate up for, rate up to them so that's why i'm not really that um gung-ho in encouraging people to go for the bottomless even though it's cheap it's a little hard to rely on very low chance of getting the specific character you want excuse me and then who else was that um mask uh who is it sorry uh rag robin mask or bertrand so between the three i would think that rag robin would have the most value given if you would go for chef polka because chef polka would be able to have um an extra uh heal source that's free and that's aoe even though at the ex and then it's also benefiting polka because of that buff from um from the overdrive attack so if he does um an overdrive attack with steel blade phoenix he would be able to heal the party and then he would have a taunt stance and he might get attacked with the wreck attack and then he would follow up some more with skill number three um kore wa uh, mia san um poka poka no um ability ni ano saisho no ability wa at a uh, tweaka no od kogeki no toki ni kore no kuroge wagyu counter no buffu wo suru kore wa ano teki no kogeki no chikan desu um poka wa a ka ano daisan no waza wa um counter suru dakara um party zentai no um kogeki kyoka wo ano toku dai no kyoka suru so um if that's the case still blade phoenix would be able to heal and then he would be able to go on counter stance with that and then he would be able to do two counters with his um, flame barrier and the skill number three which makes polka pretty useful i would think in hard content in that scenario so i would say rag robin between the three that you're picking leo rag robin would have the highest value is rag robin in the bottom list let me see I don't recall seeing Rag Robin here. Oh yeah, he is. Hi, I want Robin Gal, but it's okay. <laughs> Soon I would get Robin Gal, maybe. And Robin Girl. <laughs> okay. So that's the Redux and that's the ticket. Saga Soul, it's like Jorg definitely is the best pick for this one because scrum guard uh yeah that's it um do you have any questions leo hopefully i know i i said way too much stuff so let me know if there's something um not clear or something you would like to clarify or wanted to ask more oh no problem Well, we did get three tickets, Silsi. One for each, Saga So, UDX, and Romancing Fest, right? So technically three tickets. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me go back to JP. I think we got the tickets. Hold on. Okay, we're back in JP. <laughs> yeah, I think we have the tickets. So we can pick with um, UDX, Saga Soul and um, Romancing Fest up until last year, I think. So let me see. Yeah, it's this one right here. Yeah, we got the three tickets. Okay, so this is um, Esper Girl. Um, what I was telling you, Leo. Um, every other turn, because of Dimensional Aura, inherit that she would be able to use that and then maybe follow up with Telekinesis at a 50% chance. 
So this is Sig Siegfried's um, favorite character that he wanted to go for. Ah, uh, matcha. I want to hit people with train, but I don't know if the that is useful or not. Hmm, what are the characters? Let's see. I mean, I want abs, right? Abs Gustav. <laughs> So Abs Gustav, by the way, is um column farmer. That's it. <laughs> oh, Tsubaki. I remember this, Saigon, when you were doing um uh, whatchamacallit? Um egg. That you use this Tsubaki and then you're not sure whether to do debuff or to do just a regular attack because intelligence debuff is included with her attack. I didn't get her in global. <laughs> yes, so um Rydia. Um, the beachside banner is all abs banner. So this is Khalid. And then this is Falcon. Falcon is the um, the other character for Sparrow. And then abs Gustav. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. I mean Sumire is here. I, I would love Sumire. Or boobs banner, you know, undine. <laughs> ah. I don't know who to pick. I don't have anybody I like. I mean, I can pick Will. So Will, I, I put him as one of the um, recommended character to pull. Not not as a must pull, but rather as a maybe. Because he does Soul Song. So Soul Song is moral up to everyone for 5 turn. And then... HP regen at turn ends um, for 10 turns, and that's really it. Soul Song and then Scrum Guard. You know, Scrum Guard is very useful all the time. Oh, I haven't done the romancing for the villains yet, um, Saigon, so I'm gonna be tortured too, maybe after. <laughs> yeah, I can get for, I can go for um, School Will. And then I don't. I don't think I have um, Esper Girl. Let me see. I don't think I have UDX Esper Girl. Uh, GB Saga. Yeah, I don't have UDX Esper Girl. Only the Fest one. So, yeah, I can't go for Halloween. <laughs> Ah, kyotsukete kudasai, Miya-san. Um, arigatou gozaimasu. So, Miya-san is saying about a distribution. Because in Japanese, um, streaming is haishin. So, haishin is, um, is delivery or distribution um, in English translation. That's why she said distribution. Because that's what Google Translate is translating the haishin rather than a stream. You know. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't know who to pick then. <laughs> the three banners. So definitely School Will is one. Um, I know Angela would tell me, go get Forneus. <laughs> um... Honestly, I think that would that's not a bad idea getting Forneas and then two Bucky. Yeah. Because um Saigon the the summer Bune we have in JP is totally different than in global. So in global, um skill number two and skill number three, there's um extra effect on overdrive. So when she uses this skill on overdrive it does an extra either attack down or guard up to the party. Attack down to the enemy or guard up to the party. So if this is global, I would have picked Bune already. Because that would have been perfect with the um with the Dragon Lord style. Yeah, I had to skip her too, Silsi. I don't have jewels. <laughs> so I'm hoping for the select ticket with that. Let's see. What are the other stuff? Oh, definitely gold pieces, right? 
I don't know. These are all outdated, so I don't know who to pick. Oh, congratulations, Rydia. That's that's a good thing to have. Yeah. Those are my options. Probably I'm gonna go with School Wheel and probably Forneas. You're welcome, Angelo. <laughs> and um probably two buggy. Two buggy for intelligence debuffing. But I'll i I'll check it out. Alright, um, any any other requests or questions before we end the stream? Oh, I can't do that on stream Saigon because it, it gives out like a, a little um, spoiler of the finale chapter that I don't want that for people here because most people here are in global so I try to avoid that as much as possible I mean I know I I'm gonna I'm gonna die on that one so but yeah <laughs> yes I don't have Maria all right if there's nothing else um, I would like to give a quick shout out once more for fuluyano san for the awesome artwork we have to the left it's um, inspired by the the pictures that were shared during the JP stream, and then the edit to the right with Ebiko San, Ebiko and um, Boston from Imojiro San. Um, check out um, Imojiro San's page on Twitter. You don't have to follow if you don't like to, but he posts a lot of um, funny stuff, um, probably memeing about you know the characters, and he loves using um, Monica. Um, Clurry and um, Orpina so he was really stoked with the global exclusive Orpina like oh, Orpina Orpina was saying like oh I have some fancy dress and then Monica was so jealous he made an edit like that it's so funny <laughs> um, so see I didn't do the JP banners but I can do that on as a separate video instead we just ran, ran through them real fast and I mentioned about not being impressed with the polka liz and brownie banner but i am more focused on the barthelemy joe and Igomal banner i got barthelemy um on the second multi and then nothing else after i wanted to get joe because of the you know a lot of attack boost and defense boost so yeah that's where all my jewels are gonna go <laughs> uh all right so i did a shout out and then also, Silsi, Saigon, Rydia, um, Mia-san, Leo, Fifole, Sankyu, um, who else? I'm scrolling through the chat. Andy, and um, Tepwen. So, thank you so much for, for joining. I appreciate all of you here. It, it feels good to be chatting with people, you know, just having fun with Romancing Saga. And as always, if you have any requests, feel free to reach out to me on Reddit. Um, Discord, Twitter, or, you know, comment on the video, and I will make sure to try and work on it um, for those requests. But definitely my next project um, is going to be a showcase. Um, one is still Urpina. I wanted to showcase um, the latest Urpina with the global exclusive to see how she fares with damage, taking damage or doing damage, and then probably a showcase with overdrive now that i got uh, Bartholomew as well in jp and then some random showcase that i can think of um i'll do the banner review tomorrow because i decided last minute that i would stream tonight um i was just stoked in jp that i decided to stream rather than to create that review video for global but yeah um leo just a quick summary um top for the rock bouquet banner is rock rock bouquet and then the other one would be Liz. Um, and so, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. And see you in the next video or stream. This is Arado signing off. Have a good rest of your day, evening, or afternoon. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. And have a good have a good day. Bye. Thanks, Tepwin.